12 News investigates confusion in a South Milwaukee neighborhood. Neighbors suspect a registered sex offender may be living just steps away from a grade school. 12 News has learned a police investigation of this situation is underway. Syria Sandlin joins us now from South Milwaukee near Lakeview Elementary School. In Syria, both state law and a city ordinance say sex offenders cannot live within 1,000 feet of a school. Joyce, I'm here at Lakeview Elementary, just down the street from a home that neighbors believe a registered sex offender has been living in for years. Now, the South Milwaukee Police Show told me it all started with a recent feature story in the Journal Sentinel about the couple's garden. That article is what prompted the investigation. We then talked to a neighbor who confirmed that he may be living there. South Milwaukee Police Chief William Jessup confirming to 12 News, Todd Kester, a lifelong registered sex offender, may be breaking the law. In 2000, the court convicted Kester of sexual assault of a child. The article in question, a June 9th feature piece in the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, describes the extravagant garden of the home Kester shares with his partner. A line in the article said, quote, when they bought their tri-level home about 13 years ago, they started making changes to their front and backyards almost immediately. Todd Kester is a sex offender that was released about a decade ago. He initially had an address in South Milwaukee. That address did not comply with our ordinance on restricted areas for sex offenders in South Milwaukee. So at that point, uh, roughly 10 years ago, he was uh, told that he had to move to a different location. We recently became aware that he may be uh, living in South Milwaukee in an area that uh, is restricted. Uh, so we started investigating. We went to that address, knocked on the door and saw Todd Kester. Hi, are you Todd? He immediately walked Todd? away also went to the address Kester has on the state sex offender registry. It's a rooming house in Bayview. No one answered when we knocked. What happens if he's in violation? Uh, he would be forced to move. He certainly has a right to, to come to that location. He doesn't have a right to live there. Syria, I know you spoke with some neighbors. What did they tell you? Joyce, I've been in this neighborhood all day talking to these neighbors. They say police have been knocking on their doors, showing them a photo of Custer, asking questions about this as part of their investigation. And those neighbors reluctant to go on camera today. Cyria Sandlin reporting live. Thank you.